Hi, in ecology, we call it realms, realm, domain or realm. The planet Earth or Mother Earth is divided into six realms. They are known as number one, Nearctic realm. The second is Paleoarctic realm. The third is Oriental realm. The fourth is Australian realm. The fifth is Ethiopian realm. The last sixth one is Neotropical realm. The realms are divided according to the seasons, according to temperatures, according to climate, according to um, endemic species of flora and fauna, and um, according to the same demographic setup, or same kind of geology, mountains, oceans deserts, tropical rainforest, this kind of things, they group the realms according to their own temperatures and climate. So the first one is Nearctic realm. It comprises of North America and Canada. See, North America and Canada, they are almost similar cold climates. Ice, glaciers, and the wildlife too, polar bears, and grizzly bears, arctic fox, all those animals, the moose, the reindeer. So, New Arctic realm, that is North America and Canada, it's beautiful. In the northern part of Canada, you have boreal forest and also other ecosystems like tundra, taiga, boreal forest and you have chaparral and you have savanna and you have a deciduous forest of North America. Deciduous forest they change color, they shed their leaves during autumn. So Nearctic realm. You don't find Bengal tiger in Nearctic realm. No. You don't find grizzly bear in uh, India or in Africa. So that is a realm to which certain amount of endemic species of flora and fauna, by default, they are born there, they live there, they die there. The second one is Paleoarctic realm. That is Europe. Asia, a little bit of northern part of Asia, North Sahara. This area is comprises of desert, big grasslands in Asia. They call it steppe in Russia or savanna or grassland. And in Europe, we have similar plants and animals. And part of the time, they don't have snow. They have green cover. Lot of animals. And they have deer. They've got bears. They've got different kind of flowers. Alpine climate. So they have got plenty of wildlife. They're all right. Highly Arctic. So in these regions, sometimes leopards, leopards are versatile, they live everywhere. One leopard lives in Russia, it's called Amu leopard. The Indian leopard can't live in Russia. Russian Amu leopard can't live in India. They're endemic to Paleoarctic. For example, another is lynx, it lives there, bobcats. Sloth bear, black bear, sorry, and sometimes some not snakes, amphibians, birds, There's lots of 
thousands of species of birds live in Paleoarctic realm. The third one is Oriental realm, that is us, <laughs> India, South China and Indonesia, Malaysia, all this section, Far East Asia. They all come under Oriental realm. This is the magic land of biodiversity. Welcome to India, tiger, peacocks, one horned rhino, king cobra, minus. There are so many snakes, cobras, monkeys, lungo, rhesus. Even northeastern part, we find some orangutan, gibbons, and siamang. So this is oriental realm, it's not a joke. Major part of species of animals live in Asia and India. There are a lot of endemic species of animals in oriental realm. For example, Bengal tiger, Komodo dragon in Indonesia. Komodo can't live in Paleo-Arctic or Neo-Arctic regions, no, absolutely not, it will die can never adapt uh, ice environment. Komodo dragon needs hot climate. So oriental realm, that is India. India has got plenty of flora and fauna. Lot of plants like teak trees, rain tree. All those trees are very, very highly valued. Devadaru in Himalayas, lot of herbs in India, medicinal herbs, they grow here. They don't grow in New Arctic in North America, Canada or Pali Arctic in Europe or Asia or North Sahara. They grow only in India. They grow in China, South China, they grow in Indonesia. China has big land, flora and fauna. The fourth realm is Australian realm. It includes also New Zealand, New Guinea. Their wildlife is entirely different. They have got kangaroos, they've got koalas, they've got wombats, they've got platypus. They've got different kinds of dingoes, dogs. Their wildlife is different. We don't have, no other realm is having kangaroo and koala. No, not at all. Only Australia. The continent of Australia separated from India, from Antarctica, probably some 200 million years back, maybe 150 million years back. So ever since evolution, it was secluded. It's a geographic isolation, they call it. Geographically isolated, the continent of Australia. So different kind of flora and fauna, they evolved. So Australian realm. New Zealand. New Zealand, they've got a beautiful word, no? Kiwi. That bird you can't see anywhere in the world. No way, not even in India. It's a nocturnal bird, beautiful bird. And New Guinea, oh my God, the birds of paradise. You don't have them anywhere on the planet. That is the land of the birds of paradise. You should have a thousand eyes to feast on it. The fifth one is Ethiopian realm. That is south of Sahara Desert, Ethiopia. High mountains, they are known as Simeon Mountains. And they have got separate uh, class of flora and fauna. They have got Jalada baboons, very endemic to Ethiopia. And they have got some wild dogs like dingoes, endemic to Ethiopia. And they have got ibex, endemic to Ethiopia, they have got high mountains. It's a beautiful country, so it's a separate realm. Also, Ethiopian men, tall, Ethiopian women, tall and beautiful, skinny, curly hair. They are entirely different from Africans and Indians and other white people. So Ethiopian realm is unique. The last one is Neotropical realm. That includes South America and Central America. Okay, this is completely neotropical. We can include also Africa, I think. 
because they are all one and the neotropical is the tropical places Serengeti, Amazon rainforest all of them come under neotropical and they house richest biodiversity because they are all in the equator line 20 degree north, 20 degree south full of wildlife you don't find any wildlife such kind of wildlife new neoptic and paleoptic and australian and ethiopian only neotropical probably oriental realm can come close to it but neotropical is magic i think neotropical has more than india more than south china more than indonesia more than oriental realm so it's a magic land of biodiversity africa south america central america all of it so these are the six realms I hope I explained a little bit about it and you can Google and go for further research and learn about the realms. Six realms again. Want to summarize? The first one is Neoptic realm. The second one is Paleoptic realm. Third is Oriental realm. The fourth is the Australian realm. The fifth is Ethiopian realm. The last one is the New Tropical realm. Have a nice day. Bye.